back with another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to save over $10,000 in less than one year. Less than one year you can do it. It is possible. So, first and foremost, if you are a hairstylist, this is going to be very easy for you. It's going to be easier for hairstylists or cosmetologists. If you are a server, a cosmetologist, anybody who gets tips, that is your key right there. That was my key into saving that much money in less than a year. The salons that I worked at, I still got paid hourly. So I got a base pay and then I got tips. Everything I did, I did with my tips. So everything that I was getting, for the day, I will make a goal for the day. Like, let me try to get over 100 tips today or 100 tips today. All of those tips, I will put, I will come home and I'll put it in my drawer. And then I would, anything I need, like food or anything or a few groceries, I would use that for. But I would still stack up my tip money. And as I'm still stacking up my tip money and saving the tip money, my checks that are rolling in in direct deposit are not being touched at all. So I'm saving most of my full check besides what I have to pay, like bills, and then I'm using my tip money for everything outside of that. So the if you're a cosmetologist or somebody who gets tips, a server or anything, save your tip money, stack up your tip money, and let it watch it grow. So if you get a five, you get fives for the day. Say every day you come home, you put fives to the side and you put ones to the side. So anything else, you do whatever you want with that, but the fives and the ones will stack up. Put in those hours. It was at one point in time where I did work two jobs and I was going straight from one job to another job and I was just stacking up my money. Every paycheck that came in, I was saving every paycheck until it was the end of the month and I had to pay for something, but every paycheck was getting saved. So don't, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it because I've always been a saver, but don't touch your check. So every check that I was getting, I was leaving it in my bank. I was for, it was to the point where I was forgetting I was getting paid. So every paycheck, my dog is trying to get her stocking. <laughs> Maya, so every check that you get, if you don't have any bills to pay, don't just go splurge. Act like you didn't even see your check come in. Get, make it to the point where you forget that you got paid today. So a check come in, just don't touch it. If you're a cosmetologist or you get tips or anything, anything that you need, you need stuff to eat, use your tip money. Just use that. Don't touch your paycheck. Extra hustles on the side. If you have a few different streams of income, use that for everything that you need to use stuff for, that you need to buy stuff with. Do not pay, do not touch your paycheck at all. So first thing is to get direct deposit and just watch it flow in. If you pay bills, it's easier if you do live with somebody and you're not paying bills if you're at home. Um, Cause half of this year, Half of the year that I did save up that much money, I was at home. So it is easier if you are at home to save up that money. So if you are at home still, every paycheck that you get, save it. Or just say, okay, this paycheck, if you get paid weekly, I'm only going to take out like $50 to last me for the week. And you can do it. Buy you a few groceries, pack your lunch. You don't have to, it, you don't have to splurge your money. Literally... I have never been a big saver and I, I mean, I've never been a big um, spender and I save great. I know how to manage my money and how to take only a little bit out, especially if you're still living at home. Only take out a little bit of your money. And even with me living in my own place, I still know how to manage my money. When I get my paychecks, I get paid bi-weekly, I still get tips. So with me still getting tips, everything like um, 
my car note and my car insurance and different stuff like that goes on what I make for tips. So if I make a, I'm set, I set a goal every day. So Saturdays I work nine to five and I set a goal that let me try, let me try to make a hundred dollars in tips today. hundred dollars is going to pay my car note because my car note is only $90 because of my credit. That's going to pay my car note and a little bit of my insurance because my insurance is only like 50 something. So then the very last check of the month will go to my rent. The very last check will go towards rent. So my very last check of the month will go towards the beginning of the month, the first of the month's rent. So if you don't make out a plan and figure out how to save your money, you will never be able to save. Like you have to think ahead. Like you literally have to think ahead when you're trying to save your money. I don't know how else to explain it, but you have to think about stuff that's coming up. When you think that you want to buy these new AirPods or um, a new cell phone or something, and you really don't need it, or some brand new shoes, and you really don't need it. Like, I, yeah, I used to splurge my money. I used to get my nails done all the time. And I'm like, okay, I do hair, and they get messed up. So that's something I took off of my budget. Um, just think about everything that you do spend your money on. Do you need it? I know people like to feel good and like to get their nails done and their lashes done and their eyebrows done, this and that. But I tell you, I find out a cheaper way to do everything. Like literally, I used to get my lashes done. Like I got my minks done twice and then I got my individual, I used to always get my individuals done. Do you know I looked up a video on how to put mink strips on and that's all I have been wearing is mink strips. You spend like $10, $15 on mink strips and you wear that. Literally, these lashes last me the month, even longer than that. And that's only $15. They look, everybody always thinks I have on minks. They look just like it. So you spend about $15 instead of spending $80 every two weeks to get your fill in on your minks or however long they take. Every two weeks to get your nails done. Well, for me, that's my opinion. I don't need to get my nails done because it's hard for me to do stuff with nails on. So that's my opinion. But if you're a nail person, go right ahead. That's something you're just fitting to your budget. But I'm not saying don't treat yourself or anything, but always manage your money and think ahead. Um, what else have I? I always find a coupon for something. If I'm going out to get groceries, I look in the paper for coupons. I see if I have a coupon for something. I have all the apps. I have the Kroger app. Walmart app, and you can always get discounts on something. Oh, back to what I was saying was about the splurging. If you feel like you need some new shoes, or you want some new shoes, not you need. If you need some new shoes, get some new shoes. But if you feel like you just want some new shoes or something, I'm not saying don't do nothing good for yourself, but if it's not, think about it. Do you really, really need these? Like if it's not, if it's, a $200 pair of Jordans that just came out, but they have already been released in the past. They're like Jordans. They re-released the same type of shoe. Think about it. Do you need those? They're going to be out of style in like a couple months and they're going to be a new release. So, so you have to think ahead. If you're going to go ahead and buy the shoe, think about what do you have coming up? And you always have to think about what if my car breaks down? I'm sorry. That's how I think. Like I always think about do I have enough money in case something emergency happens? If my car breaks down, if something breaks around the house, if I break a bone or something happens, I always make sure I have my savings account. Don't go spend your last dollar for a pair of Jordans. It's not worth it. If you don't have a savings account, which is so, 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 so important to always just try to save even if you start off small it is so important to try to save like even if you start off with saving five dollars i literally taught somebody this he was not a saver at all and i was talking to him like come on you need to learn how to save because things will always pop off something will always happen it was a friend of mine something will always happen and i'm like you need to have that money for emergencies so 
slowly but surely anything that he thinks about now he thinks ahead of time from what i told him like you need to think ahead of the game like if you're thinking about getting some airpods or whatever they're called the little earpods or whatever think about do you have some saved up just in case something important happens just in case a bill just pops up do you have your rent money do you have your car note money do you have a savings do you have at least at least 500 in your savings just in case that is something you always need to think about so my my personal opinion on this is my first video doing this i always say i wanted to tell people but my personal opinion how i saved over ten thousand dollars in one year is like stacking up my my um pay stubs I would get direct deposit and I was stacking those up and then I pay my bills with the last paycheck. My tip money, I stack those up, but whenever I need something extra, I do take some out of it. But I always, I always make sure I put my fives, my tens, my ones in that tip drawer. I always make sure I put, and I should say don't touch it, but sometimes you need to touch it if you're not touching your paychecks. One of them you're going to touch, but just manage it out. If you pay rent, let that last check of the month or the last two checks of the month be towards your bills. The first two checks, save them. Save them. Like saving money. Think about cheaper ways to do it. I'm sorry, I'm a cheap, I'm a cheap person. I think about cheaper ways to do it. If I'm going to get an oil change, I will look on Groupon or I will look online and put in like um Jiffy Lube coupons. And I always get a discount. I always find a coupon that is online. There's so many discounts out in the world now. Like, there's so many discounts. You can find a discount for what you're doing. If you can't, oh, okay, once in a while. But there's so many discounts where you can find a discount to something nowadays. Like, I, look, I literally look up everything that I buy almost. And there's a discount for it. If I'm in Kroger and I'm grocery shopping, I'll be on the Kroger app looking up things and they're on the Kroger app for sale. If I'm going to get an oil change, I'll, um, I'll look up online, Jiffy Lube, how to, um, a coupon for Jiffy Lube and there's some online. So there's always a discount for something and there's always a way to start saving. When you come home or you get your paycheck, say, okay, I'm only take out this much money out of my paycheck and this is going to the side. This money, this, the rest of this is going to the side. I'm only taking out this much. On the days you don't have to pay your bills. On the paychecks, you don't have to pay your bills. Say, I'm only take out $50 to last me the week. And I promise you, you'll start learning. Let's just say like um, I take out like $100 or something for the week. That's gas, some food, and then little extra stuff, whatever you think to do. But manage, learn how to manage your money and learn how to just say, okay, the whole paycheck is what's going to the side. Not I'm going to just put $50 to the side. Change your mind and think about like, no, I'm going to put the whole paycheck to the side and only take out this much. I'm only going to take out like, 30% of the paycheck. Think of it like that and your mind will start changing. And every time you go somewhere, you'll start thinking, okay, is there a coupon for this? Is there a discount for this? Is there a sale for this? That's how I think all the time now. So um, pretty much I saved in less than a year, almost 10K by saving up my tip money, saving up all my fives, my 20s, my 10s, my ones. And only I take out only like I only keep a little bit and I still do hair on the side at home, which is money that I spend on food, groceries and everything. And then my paychecks, I don't even pay attention to those. Those go direct deposit into my bank and those stack up by themselves. And then the last paycheck of the month is what I pay my bills with my car note, my car insurance, the rent. That's what I pay my bills with. But the other paychecks, they just... They just go in there and then our tip money is on a card as well if we don't get cash so that just goes in there so it just stacks up stacks up stacks up so if you have just a regular like if you don't get tips at your job um 
I would say just manage your money and just say, okay, the whole paycheck is what's going to savings. I'm only going to take out this much to spend for the week. I'm going to take out 50 to spend for the week. And it's, it works like $50 is enough for a week to take out. You'll start seeing your, your money start stacking up. I'm telling you very quick, like, I don't know. I'm just a very cheap person. So that's the advice that I can give you guys right now. I wish I could word it better. If I can word it better, I will come up with another video to update you guys. But um, I've been doing it for a while now. So that tell you guys a lot. I've been saving that for a while since I was a teenager. This technique I have been doing since I was a teenager. I have always been cheap. My mama don't even know why I'm this cheap because my mom and my dad are shoppers. So if you want to know a little bit more detailed video or a little clear video, because this was just kind of something I would just kind of explain the best way I could right now. But if you guys want to know a little bit more detail, comment below and let me know. But like, comment, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.